Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, as part of Hadoop administration using Cloudera, we are trying to set up 4-node uh, cluster using VMs on uh, PC or Mac. So far, we have installed uh, VMware Workstation or Fusion and then created a template cloned into 4 VMs. And then uh, uh, we have created M repository server for both uh, M repository on one of the servers or VMs for both CDH and CM or Cloudera Manager and then we have set up JDK 1.8 for installation of Cloudera Manager and also we have set up prerequisites using parallel SSH. Once that is done, now we will uh, uh, we will try to install the Cloudera Manager. Uh, so far we have only downloaded and created the YAM repository for both Cloudera Manager and CDH. We have not installed anything related to Cloudera uh, distribution of Hadoop or Cloudera Manager. So for that, what you have to do is you have to search for automated installation by Cloudera Manager and you have to go to the 5x version. So click on this link and search for wget and uh, there should be a wget command which will try to install this Cloudera Manager installer.bin. So we have to get this file by running this uh, wget command. So in, in this case, I am trying to download it to my home directory on this node 01 and we can see this Cloudera Manager installer.bin file here. Once it is done, what you have to do is uh, you have to grant execute permissions on that file. Right now there are no execute permissions on that. So we have to grant execute permissions on that file. And now we have given the execute permission for the owner. Uh, you can see it here in this case root is the owner for this file and we can start installation by running cloudera manager installer dot bin space hyphen hyphen skip underscore repo underscore package equal to one if you forget to do this even though we have downloaded and set up local m repository for the cloudera manager it will try to download and, inst and install from the Cloudera public repositories. If you have to use the local rep repository, then you have to say hyphen hyphen skip repo package equal to one. So before running this command, make sure your, your m repo list command works without any issues. And also make sure you, uh, uh, set, uh, you set httpd to be on on the reboot of the machine. Uh, if the HTTPD is not on, um, under check config, then HTTP server will not come up when you actually reboot the server and your M uh, repo list will not be able to connect to the local repositories. So make sure you do these two things and here you can see that M repo list is actually getting the repos for both of them. Okay, once that is done, run m clean all before starting a, the installation and run m update this will take a while to update uh, uh, to run the complete update it will try to update all the packages that are there on this server and uh, it can take few minutes to completely update all the packages so here my uh, um, my binaries are up to date so it is saying no package market for update but you should run yum update and uh, definitely some of the packages will be updated. Once that is done, you can install Cloudera Manager by running Cloudera Manager installer.bin skip underscore repo package equal to 1 and hit enter. So I am running this command, hit next, next, you have to accept the license, next, accept Oracle binary code license, there is some issue, so first we have to troubleshoot those issues, to troubleshoot you have to go to var log cloudera fcm server, let me see which, which log file it is asking to look into next next yes 
next yes so it is asking to look into cloud as a manager installer so cd var log cloud as a manager installer ls hyphen ltr and look into the file install cloud as a manager server so it is saying no package cloud as a manager server available so what we have to do is so the reason is when i run m repo list i am not able to see the cloud as a manager so we have to go to etc m dot repos dot d and uh, there is uh, this file called cloud as a manager dot repo dot rpm save i don't know why it has done that let me see yeah it is pointing to right repository and uh, here install cloud manager manager packages from a local repository click on this link probably i might have missed something here okay it should be enabled equal to 1 and gpg check equal to 0 so i have to make the changes to this file okay so i, I am moving this file cloud era manager repo to cloud era, rpm dot uh, repo dot rpm save to cloud era manager repo and then i am opening this cloud era manager dot repo and saying gpg check as 0 and enabled equal to 1 okay so we need to add those two lines and then let us try running it so cd cloud era manager installer bin skip repo package equal to 1 and hit enter next next accept the license next yes now it is actually installing while installing you can actually go here cd var log cloud era manager installer and you can see what is going on in cloud the manager server installation okay the installation is almost done you can actually do tail minus f2 dot install cloud error manager server dot log it is almost uh, downloading is done because it's a local repository download is pretty fast and now it, it is actually installing the software cloud the manager server is installed uh, cloud era manager requires a embedded database if you go to the ppt and uh, if you see the slides if you look into the architecture we will have a monitoring database along with the monitoring server and the default database is uh, postgres uh, you can change it but you have to do the advanced configuration which we don't need to worry about at this time if you want to have a separate database or remote database then probably the, inst uh, the instructions will be a little bit different and you have to go to the cloud documentation to do so and now you, it is saying point your web browser to this one http colon slash slash 192.168.145.130 it is better practice to have a alias for these ip addresses in my case it is node01.itversity.com so I can use http colon slash slash node01 itversity.com colon 7180 and then it will prompt uh, to sign in and uh, you have to use admin as username and admin as password and then it will take you to the cloud as a manager web interface. So what we have to do is go here and uh, go to node01 itversity.com 7180 and hit enter. It will take a while 
after few seconds or after a couple of minutes if it is not coming up then uh, one way to validate is from your pc from where you are trying to connect to that web service run this command node 01 itvrct.com or the ip address which is 192.168.145.130 in my case 7180 on which uh, it's a port number on which cloudera manager will be running and hit enter it has not come up yet so we need to wait until it comes up another way to validate is on the host itself also you can actually do telnet local host 7180 now it is up now it is up even from our pc we i am able to telnet so now if you refresh you will get into the cloudera manager username is admin and password is also admin hit enter and it will take you to the cloudera manager make sure you accept the end user license and if you proceed further it will uh, take you to the wizards and all those things which i will be covering uh, later for now we have successfully set up the cloudera manager now we will understand what this cloudera manager is okay so it's a management tool for hadoop ecosystem it's licensed from cloudera so you have to pay uh, if you go for cloudera enterprise edition if you go for um, cloudera express it's free um, but you will not get any support or anything from the uh, from cloudera and also you will not uh, have features such as advanced cloudera manager features cloudera navigator etc if you go with uh, cloudera express if you go with uh, cloudera enterprise which is the best one you will get all the features including cloudera support okay so once it's so the software is actually cloudera licensed it is it can be used to set up hadoop cluster it will ease that Uh, even if you have to set up on hundreds of nodes of the, um, if you want to set up Hadoop on hundreds of the nodes, um, it, it it will be pretty straightforward. And you can have one Cloudera manager to support multiple Hadoop clusters also. So the components are Cloudera manager on one machine, relational database on same machine as Cloudera manager, or it can be on different machine also. We have you uh, we have configured the embedded database uh, without getting into the advanced uh, stuff. and uh, a cloudera manager agent not the cloudera manager here so there is a typo in the slide cloudera agent will be running on all the machines in the cluster so that we will take care afterwards for now we have installed only the cloudera manager on one of the nodes in the cluster okay so continuing what is cloudera manager um, we will now explain how it works cloudera manager will be running on one machine in the cluster cloudera agent will be running on all machines in the cluster the agent sends data collected from all machines such as resource utilization etc uh, to the manager and that data will be stored in a relational database and the cloudera manager consolidates that information and it provides capabilities such as alerts dashboards etc we will see that when we actually set up the cluster So steps to set it set it up. Install Cloudera Manager on one of the masters. In the database uh, we are using the embedded database, and we have installed using uh, Cloudera Manager installer dot bin, uh, skipping repo packages. And uh, when you actually set up, make sure the GPG check is disabled, and uh, the uh, the local repository is enabled. So if you go here. make sure that you have uh, you modify the gpg gpg check from 1 to 0 and enabled equal to 1 uh, add the entry enabled equal to 1 so that the local repository will be used to set up that being said we are done with the cloudera manager setup and as part of the subsequent uh, videos we will try to set up Uh, all the components in cloudera one at a time after understanding the architecture 
and uh, uh, also we will understand how Cloudera Manager can be used to, to effectively monitor the uh, clusters and uh, many other details. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about uh, uh, Big Data or Hadoop, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVersity-Big Data. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.